so I was born in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, kind of a big city. It's a great city. I lived there for about the first four years of my life. And then when I turned four, my dad had gotten an, a job offer in a small town in the pretty much close to the middle of nowhere in Oregon named McMinnville, Oregon. Uh, there's not much there, considering there's only 35,000 people. And the most interesting thing in that town is it's home to the largest wooden plane in U.S. history. Um... But in McMinnville, it was a perfect spot. We were about an hour away from the coast to the west and about an hour southeast of Portland, one of the big downtowns in America. Um, I, living in Oregon, I learned to, well, I didn't learn. I loved the environment. I was in, I loved the people I grew up with. There was just so much I loved about this place. Um, whether or not it's how green and beautiful it is, or um, that it never got too hot, but it got pretty cold and it snowed. You don't get to see a lot of snow here in San Antonio. Um, in school, I was very involved in a lot. I was a varsity cheer my freshman year. Um, I was also the mascot before I cheered. Then, before, then about after my national cheer competition, my dad had told me that we're moving to San Antonio. Now this was really hard because I was very invested in the church family and my school family, and my best friends, my absolute best friend I've known since kindergarten. We still talk to this day, um, even though we're 2,000 miles apart. But in about July 2015, we moved 2,000 miles south to San Antonio. And my sophomore year was a really rough year for me because I had to start over from scratch. I had no friends. I just had nothing. I was always at home in my room trying some way to figure out how I can get back to Oregon. It was just, it was not a good time. Um, I really did. I found a lot of who I was and what I was supposed to be doing. I found my purpose. Uh, I questioned a lot why I'm here and what the purpose is and why me. Um, I always felt like I was going to be the kid that never moved, that always stayed in one area. But obviously, God had different plans. Um, and my and in my junior and senior year, now following sophomore year, I had learned to adapt and just like I, oh, I've adapted to the lifestyle in San Antonio. I have my great friends here. Um, going from thirty five thousand to one point five million people in one city. It's a crazy culture shock, but I've learned to adapt and learn who I was and what I'm supposed to be. Um, then again, in conclusion, uh, my move from San, from McMinnville, Oregon to San Antonio, Texas, it taught me about who I was, a lot of what I was, who I was, who I'm supposed to be, and it just taught me how to reminisce, how to move on from stuff. And just how to deal with a lot of rough times in my life.